Well, the U.S. Postal Service recently announced plans to crack down on a growing number of mail thefts. In today's Legal Lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asks Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary about the penalties for stealing mail. Andrea, I know that the post office is doing uh, you know, things to try to stop this from happening, but we have seen mail thefts from their own uh, blue boxes. I, I guess, what are the penalties for mail theft, and does it matter if it's from one of their uh, post office uh, containers or, or a mailbox in front of your own home? Interesting fact, Jeff. So your mailbox at your home belongs to the U.S. Postal Service, even though you may have bought it and installed it. So whether someone is tampering with mail from your own private box in front of your house or it's at the post office in one of the big drop boxes, um, it is a federal crime. And those federal crimes can carry fines up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and five years in prison. So, you know, they're hefty fines and risk associated with interfering or tampering or stealing anyone's mail. Certainly some serious penalties there. And what is the difference between mail theft and mail fraud? So mail theft usually involves stealing or taking any posted item like packages, postcards, letters, usually does not involve force. Uh, whereas mail fraud is where somebody uses um, the US mail to carry out a scheme or to plan an unlawful um, you know, way to obtain money or anything else of value. Both are federal crimes and both carry uh, the heavy fines and penalties and jail time that we discussed. People may not realize it, but those are serious crimes. They definitely are. All right, Andrea McNary from Brown and Krupp, and as always, we appreciate your insight. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News. And remember, you can catch The Legal Lens on Fox 2 every Wednesday at 6 p.m.